when I have the camera around my neck, my eye is working differently and I'm trying to be observant. My photography is for a very specific purpose. It is for recording a long-scale view of history. It's putting one stone in a very long road. China is unique in the entire world in that it has a continuous, unbroken art tradition that goes all the way back to ancient times. It's a very rare time historically to be photographing in a place that is undergoing a great deal of transition. Traveling to places that have accumulated a great deal of history, a great deal of cultural memory, experiencing those places firsthand to gain knowledge, rather than look at history within the scale of one artist's lifetime, one can look back with a much greater contrast and get a little bit bigger picture of history. There are several factors that lead to a final piece of art looking the way it does. One is the season and the weather on the ground when a photograph is taken. Then there is the camera. I shoot all of my work on film, usually 35 millimeter film, with a little excerpt of the film enlarged a great deal so that the grain of the film becomes a critical element to the aesthetics of the work. By introducing graininess, unfixed perspective, lack of detail, lack of frame of reference, it allows for a little bit of abstractness to enter the frame. And then the fact that the work is printed on strand paper that is traditionally used for ink painting or calligraphy, the ink absorbs in a bit. It loses a little bit of detail and some vibrancy, but for certain subject matter, it carries more weight. In the poem by Liu Changqing, at the end, he says, Xiang Dui Yi Wang Yan. When you're finally face to face, there's no need for words. Instead of writing poetry or taking a brush to paper, I'm letting nature, light, the camera create the words for me. Photography allows me to be more of a witness than it does to be a central figure in my art. There's a writing by Zhuangzi where he talks about uh, not seeking fame, not making plans, not to be absorbed too much by activities. It's essentially talking about the mind being like a mirror in order to be in tune and observant with nature around you. Instead of actively trying to create something, it's being open to what nature has to offer. As a result, the photographs themselves will show a comprehensive view, a true view of nature.